It's your girl Nika and I'm back again with another video. I know I have been missing in action from my page for an entire week. But I have come to you guys today with another fun video and today's fun video is going to be a story time. Story time, story, story, story time. Today's story time is going to be a time my sister and I decided to sneak out the house to see man man you know we went to see girl the house to see her boyfriend my sister's boyfriend i didn't have no boyfriend at the, at, at the time we were just sneaking out so she could see her boyfriend this was back in ninth grade of high school and me and my sister slept in a bedroom in the bed in a bedroom together she was on one side of the room i was on the next and my sister kona she's my older sister by the way um, she had a boyfriend at the time. He lived in the next community. If you're from St. Thomas, you know there's Bolongo, the Bolongo Hill. They have like the, um, the, what you call it, the hotel. And then down the road, there's like a, another community, can they call it Bovoni. So her boyfriend lived in Bovoni, and we're going to call her boyfriend David. So David lived in Bovoni, and my sister and me lived in Bolongo. So we are in bed at night. She, I'm in bed sleeping. My older sister, Diana, has left for the night. She had went out to, and we in our room, we supposed to sleep. You know, at, at that time, we had house phones. We had VTEX phone. Back in the day, you had the main base. So this is the main base we had. So we figured out that if we hear beep beep, or like a ch -ch -ch, like somebody picking the phone, Bruh. Off the cook, you could hear it, so we used to sneak in our room and have the phone and just be on the phone. Trying to talk as soft as possible on these home phones. So, my sister's in her bed. I am in my bed, sleep. My sister's in the bed and she's on the phone, like, Yeah, baby. How you doing, baby? Yeah, I sleep. I just laying up here talking. She wakes me up and she's like, Nika, Nika, come outside with me real quick, no? Come outside with me real quick. Um, my boyfriend wants to come over here. We're going, we're going to go outside and talk to him. Me being the child that I am, I said, well, if my sister go, I go in with she. I'm not going to let her get in trouble by herself. I'm going to go with her. So if she wants me to go, I'm going to go with her. So we literally in the house like this. So we literally like sneak outside of our house. Our bedroom was the first door as soon as you hit the hallway. You come down the little stairs for the hallway, first door on your left, as soon as you hit the hallway. So we just snuck up the stairs, past the kitchen, and at the time we had two double doors. We opened one double door at this time. One double door, and we close it back, and we outside. Now mind you, it was raining. I'm not like hard, hard rain. But it was raining a little bit, like a little drizzle. So we had on our jackets, and we sneaking out the house with the cover, hoods over our heads, acting like if my mother come outside, she wouldn't see us walking out the house with hoods over our head. We were slow at the time. So we go ahead, and we outside. And remember, when you call in the middle of the night, you cannot call. I have to call you because the phones will ring. And if the phone rings, you know, the parents will wake up, and they would answer the next line. So... We had to be outside. He said he would be there in five minutes. We had to be outside and wait for him. So we went outside. We waited for him. He showed up. He's there chilling or whatever. Talking to my sister. They all, I love you, baby. <laughs> you know, little, little, little high school stuff and thing. And I'm just there like. Because ain't nobody come to me. So my sister's in the driveway with her boyfriend between the two cars, two of my parents' cars. What we did, we did not realize is that my sister, Diana, hasn't come home yet. So her car is supposed to be parked next to my, my dad's truck, but it's not there. And I'm on the front porch, because our door is like double doors, then it's like an iron fence, 
island houses have a lot of island houses have iron fence. We have an iron fence with a gate that also locks, and then there's like a little front porch. I'm like on the little front porch thing, closer to the edge to the, to the um to the driveway, but there's a bunch of bushes in front of me. So then I'm on there just sitting down, and the next thing you know, I see on the corner of my eye because I wasn't watching them. I was on the corner of my eye. I see my sister and her boyfriend duck like <laughs> ducking for cover like somebody shooting at them. So I'm like, what's going on? What's going on? So I duck too, cause you know when black people duck. Your duck. When black people run, you run. Ain't no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So I duck, and there's like a wooden fence in front of us, and the bushes a little bit. So I peek over the little bush, wooden, wooden fence, and look over into the bushes, and I see a car. I'm like, well, who the car is that? When I look closely, it's my sister's car. Is what is there? So this stupid idiot boy, instead of he wait till my sister park up and then take off, he take off the boy dash dash out the place with my sister sitting on it. So she start to freak out because she thinks somebody somebody just run out our front yard or something. So we get scared like idiots too and we run and we run inside the house and you would not believe what we did. We have double doors. Our retarded Ross was so scared. We grabbed the two handles for the double doors. She grabbed one, I grabbed one. We pushed the two double doors open and run inside the house. Jump in our beds and left the door open. Wide open. Lights on in the house. The porch light they on. The house light they on. In the living room, all everything they on. So, when you're outside, you can see all the light coming out from the house. So, when my sister saw the door open, she was like, Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, somebody's robbing the place! So, now my sister, you know she's been out all night. So, you know, she was a little, she was a little tipsy. So, she come inside. <sighs> Tired. Running. She gets so scared, she runs to my mother's bedroom, she doesn't know. Mommy, 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 somebody, somebody in the house, somebody in the house, somebody in the house, somebody break into the house. My mother and father ain't studying, she, child, you're, you're, you're drunk, go sleep. You're drunk, go sleep. My dad's like, are, are you really drunk? He, she's like, no, no, but so, I really saw somebody in the house. So now my mother's worried now, so she gets up, she go, and she start looking around the house, looking around the house. Looking, looking. She don't see nobody. So then she had an idea. If somebody was out the house and somebody came in the house, let me go look for my two older daughters. She come in the room looking for us and this is, we, we under the sheets like this. So this is a sheet and this is a... Sleep. Pretending to be sleep, you know? When you get in trouble and you don't want to get beat for nothing, you, you, you pretend to be sleep. Now, at the time, as I told y'all before, it was raining outside and we had on jackets. I took my jacket off and I fling it under the bed because the jacket was wet and that's evidence that we were outside. My sister took off her jacket and she left it at the edge of the bed. My mother walk in there, she flick on our lights. Come in there looking around. I'm like, fuck, 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 what's going on? So I, I keep my eyes shut tight. Tight, 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 tight. And I say, I ain't opening them. Me ain't opening them. Me? I ain't getting in trouble for nobody, you know? No, sir. I thought I was a ride or die until my mother come in there looking for us. Oh, Lord Jesus. No, 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 no. If me get her open. Mm -mm. So I pretend to be sleep. I was sleep. I was so sleep, I was practically dead, okay? So... My mother come in, she see, she look around and she see the wet jacket. Caught. Okay. Caught red handed. My mother saw the jacket, she, she felt the jacket was wet and she knew that we had to be outside because it wasn't raining earlier today but it's raining tonight. So she wake both of my sister, me and my sister, she's like, get up, get up, get up, come outside, come outside. She lined us up in the living room and she said, Where were y'all that night, tonight? Where did y'all go? Y'all were outside and don't lie to me because I know how you were outside. And in my head I was like, I'm looking at my sister, like, Help me! 
Nigga! And she looking at me like... And we were like... We weren't outside. We weren't outside. Worst thing you can do is when you're in a lie to lie some more. Could I just give you more blows, more licks, more in trouble, okay? So we tried to lie, 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 lie. Eventually, our mother was like, we know we are outside, and y'all gonna get in trouble, and y'all gonna get punished, and blah, blah. I just started crying tears. I have never gotten in trouble, really and truly. Never got in trouble until that night. So, you guys, thanks so much for watching. So, if you want to see more story times, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you can watch my videos every time I post. You will never miss a video if you subscribe. Please, go now. Where are we at for? You know, understand what me say? Me say go subscribe. You can also click the little bell. And it will let you know when I post videos. That way you will never miss a video. Because I love you guys. And guess what? We always got to be slay to the gods, beat to compete, and always on fleek. Thanks for watching. Mwah.